as Impella? Impella is a heart pump intended for temporary use in patients with severe symptomatic coronary artery disease and provides support in high-risk percutaneous coronary intervention. It is used as a temporary ventricular support device in people with depressed heart function. The device is approved for use in high-risk percutaneous coronary intervention PCI, and cardiogenic shock following a heart attack or an open-heart surgery procedure. The main purpose of Impella is to help the heart recover. The following are the specific purpose of Impella. Unloading Impella displays blood from the left heart to the general circulation or to the lungs. By doing so, Impella devices supply blood to the organs and unload the heart from a portion or all of the blood volume it has to propel during each contraction. Unloading the heart contributes to reducing the amount of work provided by the heart and reduces its need for oxygen and nutrients. Impella products used as an unloading therapy are, Impella 2.5, Impella CP, Impella 5O or Impella LD, and Impella RP. End Organ Perfusion End organ perfusion is the flow of blood through the body's blood vessels to the major organs fed by the circulatory system. The maintenance of end organ perfusion is critical in the prevention of irreversible organ injury and failure. Impella products used as an end organ perfusion therapy are, Impella 2.5, Impella CP, Impella 5O or Impella LD, and Impella RP. Native Heart Recovery The main focus in Impella is on the recovery of the native heart. Impella allow the heart muscle to rest before or during a PCI procedure. Impella products used as a native heart recovery therapy are, Impella 2.5, Impella CP, and Impella 5O or Impella LD. Hemodynamic Stability Hemodynamics refers to the forces the heart has to develop to maintain blood flow through the cavities of the heart and all the blood vessels. Stable blood flow provides a steady supply of oxygen to all tissues and organs in the body. If a patient has stable hemodynamics, it means that the force at which the heart pumps blood is stable. Maintaining stable blood flow in the heart and vessels is important in supporting normal organ functions including the heart. Impella products used as a hemodynamic stability therapy are, Impella 2.5, Impella CP, Impella 5O or Impella LD, and Impella RP. Right Heart Support When right side heart failure occurs, Blood is not adequately pumped out to the lungs and begins to back up. This backup causes pressure in the body's veins and ultimately damages the right side of the heart. When this occurs, the use of an Impella RP device can provide right heart support. The Impella heart pump used for right heart support is Impella RP. Console Overview the Automated Impella Controller, or AIC, can support all the Impella devices, the Impella 2.5, Impella CP, Impella 5.0, Impella LD, and the Impella RP. Looking at the front of the console, note the selector knob, power indicator light, and where the white cable connection is made. On the left side outer edge of the console, there is a button which opens up the purge door. On the right-hand side of the console is where the console is turned on and off. To turn the console on, press and hold the black button on the right side of the controller for three seconds. The console will beep, the power indicator light will illuminate green, and the loading screen will appear. To turn the console off, first ensure that the white pump cable has been removed from the front connector socket. Press and hold the black button on the right side of the controller for three seconds.
a pop-up message will appear asking you to confirm the shutdown by selecting OK, or if you do not wish to shut down, select Cancel. Please note that holding down the power switch for longer than 30 seconds during operation will cause the controller to initiate an emergency shutdown. There are five soft buttons on the right-hand side of the display screen. Alarm Mute. This will silence a red or yellow alarm for two minutes. It will also clear the gray resolved alarms off the screen. Flow Control. This sets the flow rate of the device. It can be set to Auto or Boost for the Impella 2.5 and Impella CP or P level available for all devices. To make changes, press Flow Control, use the selector knob to make your choice, and then press the selector knob in to make the change. Display. This changes the central display. The options are Home or Placement, Purge, Infusion History, Center Motor Current, Time Scale, and Y Axis Scale. Placement Screen. This displays waveforms, indicating the device's position in relation to the aortic valve. For the Impella 2.5 and CP, the red placement signal should display an aortic waveform when appropriately placed. It is not recommended to treat the patient based off the numbers displayed, as the device is not zeroed. For the Impella 5.0, LD, and RP, the red placement signal will show a pulsatile differential placement signal when appropriately placed. The green motor current waveform indicates proper position. A pulsatile waveform indicates that the inlet and outlet are in different chambers. A flat waveform would indicate that the inlet and outlet are in the same chamber, the device is not placed correctly, and the patient is not receiving appropriate hemodynamic support. This is true for all impella catheters. The console will alarm when it detects the catheter is in the wrong position, except for the impella RP, which does not have position alarms. Also note, the motor current waveform may be dampened in the event of low native heart pulsatility. Home screen. This shows a pictogram of the heart and device placement based on the waveform seen on the placement screen. When the Impella RP is connected, the option to select home is not visible. Infusion history. This displays an hour-by-hour -hour history of how much total volume, heparin, and dextrose concentration is being infused into the patient. This is determined by what purge fluid and heparin concentration is entered into the console and the rate that is being infused. The system only displays the last eight hours of information, with the current hour displayed at the top of the page. The information is updated for every milliliter of fluid delivered to the patient through the Impella purge system only. Purge. This displays the current purge flow as well as the purge pressure. These are automated by the AIC by maintaining the purge pressure between 300 and 1100 millimeters of mercury and purge flow between 2 and 30 milliliters per hour. The console will alarm when the purge pressure or flow falls outside the appropriate range. Center motor current. This feature auto centers the motor current on the Y axis. Time scale. This displays the option to change the time scale of your placement signal or motor current to show trends. Y-axis scale allows you to manually adjust the Y-axis on either the placement signal or motor current. Purge menu. This opens the purge system menu for various purge procedures, including change purge fluid bag, change cassette and bag, de-air purge system, and transfer to standard configuration, which is only available for the Impella 2.5 and Impella CP catheters. Each of these procedures are demonstrated in subsequent Quick Skills videos. Menu. Under this option, you can start a new case, visualize alarm history, and make various settings or service changes. Regardless of what display screen you are on, there are some common screen elements that will always be displayed. These include Impella flow. This displays the mean impella flow as well as flows during systole and diastole. A rotating operational icon is also seen while the catheter is running. Purge system. This shows a current infusion rate for the purge solution, as well as the purge pressure. The purge system marquee scrolls from left to right when the purge system is operating.
a Y connector icon will be seen if the transfer to standard configuration procedure has not yet been completed for the Impella 2.5 and Impella CP catheters. System power. This is displayed in the upper right corner. The AC plug indicator will be green if plugged into AC power and will show battery percentage when unplugged. A white notification will also be displayed on top of the screen when running on battery power and will sound an audible alert every five minutes. It is recommended to keep the console plugged in whenever possible to maintain a full charge on the battery. When fully charged, the battery will last at least 60 minutes. The serial number and pump type will be displayed in the upper left-hand corner of the display screen along with the date and time. How to change the purge fluid. To begin the change cassette and bag procedure, select the Purge Menu Soft button. Use the selector knob to scroll to Change Cassette and Bag. Press in on the selector knob. This procedure should be completed within 90 seconds of disconnecting the lure. When reconnecting, a wet-to-wet -wet connection should be made to avoid air entering the system. The supplies needed to complete this procedure include a bag of dextrose, 5% in water with heparin, and a new purge cassette. Press Start to begin the procedure. A blue progress bar will appear while the automated Impella controller primes the system. Once completed, the AIC will automatically advance to the next screen. Disconnect the yellow lure from the Impella catheter. Do not use a hemostat to disconnect the lure, as this could damage the Impella catheter. Open the purge cassette door by pressing the button on the left side of the AIC. Remove and discard the old purge cassette and purge fluid bag. Spike the new purge fluid bag with the new purge cassette and press the next soft button. Insert the new purge cassette with the Abiomed logo facing outwards. Slide the purge disc into place until an audible click is heard. If this is not completed within 10 seconds, an animation of correct insertion will be displayed. Once the purge disc is inserted, the AIC will automatically advance to the next screen. Confirm that the yellow lure is disconnected and select the next soft button. If the values need to be adjusted, press the edit soft button. If the default values are correct, select confirm to verify these values. A blue progress bar will appear while the AIC primes the new purge cassette tubing. Do not connect the yellow lure as the AIC primes the cassette. Remove and discard the Y connector at the end of the purge tubing. Once priming is complete, the AIC will advise to connect the yellow lure of the purge tubing to the yellow lure of the Impella catheter using a wet-to-wet -wet connection. The change cassette and bag procedure is now complete. Press Done to exit the purge wizard. Indications for Impella The Impella 2.5 Impella CP and Impella CP with Smart Assist Systems can be used for ventricular support for 6 hours or more during high-risk percutaneous coronary interventions. Use of the Impella 2.5, Impella CP, and Impella CP with Smart Assist Systems in these patients may prevent hemodynamic instability which can result from repeat episodes of reversible myocardial ischemia that occur during planned temporary coronary occlusions and may reduce peri- and post-procedural adverse events. The Impella 2.5, Impella CP, Impella CP with Smart Assist, Impella 5O, Impella 5.5 with Smart Assist and Impella LD catheters in conjunction with the automated Impella controller. Are temporary ventricular support devices intended for short-term use? It is indicated for the treatment of ongoing cardiogenic shock that occurs immediately less than 48 hours following acute myocardial infarction. It is also indicated for open-heart surgery, in the setting of cardiomyopathy including peripartum cardiomyopathy. Myocarditis as a result of isolated left ventricular failure that is not responsive to optimal medical management and conventional treatment measures. 
The intent of Impella system therapy is to reduce ventricular work and to provide the circulatory support necessary to allow heart recovery and early assessment of residual myocardial function. The Impella 2.5 Impella CP and the Impella CP with Smart Assist can stay from 1 to 4 days. The Impella 5O, Impella 5.5 with Smart Assist and Impella LD, can stay for 14 days. Contraindications and Warnings The Impella 2.5, Impella CP, Impella CP with Smart Assist, Impella 5O. Impella 5.5 with Smart Assist and Impella LD are contraindicated for use with patients experiencing any of the following condition. Mural thrombus in the left ventricle. Presence of a mechanical aortic valve or heart constrictive device. Aortic valve stenosis or calcification. Moderate to severe aortic insufficiency. Severe peripheral arterial disease precluding placement of the impella system. Significant right heart failure. Combined cardiorespiratory failure. Presence of an atrial or ventricular septal defect including post-infarct VSD. Left ventricular rupture. And cardiac tamponade. This condition is a contraindication for the cardiogenic shock indication only. Potential adverse events. Acute renal dysfunction, aortic valve injury, bleeding, cardiogenic shock, cerebral vascular accident or stroke, death, hemolysis, limb ischemia, myocardial infarction, renal failure. Thrombocytopenia and vascular injury. I hope you learn from my video. Please subscribe and share to support my channel. Press the bell button to be notified with my upcoming videos. Thank you.